Every year, more than a million and a half children have CT scans when they go to an emergency room. Is that too many, and are the scans safe? News 4's Dr. Peter Ostro tells us what parents need to know. The number of kids who get CT scans as part of an emergency room visit is five times what it was in 1995. CT scans use x-rays, so it's natural to wonder about radiation exposure. Can scans be harmful? The occasional CT scan for a truly indicated uh, reason, we feel, gives a much higher benefit than the risk that's associated with it. There are two reasons for that. One is that modern CT scanners are really good. It's a wonderful tool that lets you look inside the body and makes diagnoses of many different conditions. The details a CT shows are amazing. This scan of a child's abdomen has little white spots of calcifications inside a thickened appendix, so we know quickly that the child has appendicitis and needs surgery. When a scan looks normal, that's also important. It can reduce hospital admissions, it can prevent unnecessary surgeries, it can keep hospital stays shorter. And the radiation exposure of a CT scan is low, and it's getting lower. A CT scan today would be one half to one third the dose of a CT scan that was done even two to three years ago. We keep our radiation dose for each particular case as low as possible, and that's based on the age and the size of the child. It's appropriate to be concerned about the risk of radiation, so you need to know the test is worth doing. I think if you explain to parents that have a sick child or a traumatized child that we're going to provide information that their doctors are going to use to help treat their child, you know, most parents are very happy to do that. There's not much radiation risk from a CT scan or two as part of an emergency visit. Dr. Montgomery is more concerned about kids who have chronic illnesses and need repeated imaging studies. And for those kids, you look for alternatives or ways to reduce their exposure to radiation. And we also hear about MRIs. Mm -hmm. would, would those be better in some cases, or how does that work? The MRI doesn't use radiation. It uses magnetism. It said so sometimes they are better, but that, that's a decision that's made before each study. But... A CT takes less than a minute to do, and an MRI can take up to a half hour, which means a kid would have to be sedated to hold mm. still, and there is some concern about the long-term effects of sedation on kids. So oh, you, boy. you take it each, each study at a time, you decide what's the right thing to do. You really have to weigh it there. All, All right. right, thank you very much, doctor. Good advice.